ever wonder, what does it take? What does it take to throw the biggest party of the year? Where do those ideas come from to top it year after year after year? It turns out all it takes are the right ingredients and a ribbon. A frog with the right touch. Local 12 proudly presents the 47th Western and Southern WEBN Fireworks. Now, from their perch in Newport on the Levee, your hosts, Paula Toti and Kyle Linsky. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to summer's last blast. Oh, it certainly feels like fireworks weather out here tonight. And the Rozzies, once again, have quite a show in store for all of us this evening. Mm. Now, of course, none of this happens without the sponsorship of Western and Southern and the hard work of everyone at WEBN. This year's theme is All In on Cincinnati, and you would be hard-pressed to find anybody more All In than the leaders of those two organizations. The theme of All In in Cincinnati is really good, and we are All In on Cincinnati. We've got everything better than any other city our size could possibly have, and better than many, than many of the cities bigger than we are. We're, we're blessed. Let's take advantage of it. There's never been an easier time to be All In for Cincinnati than right now with everything going on with all of the sports teams and the art scene and everything that's happening. It's easy to be All In for Cincinnati, and the soundtrack will reflect that. When Bo Wood dreamed this up almost 50 years ago, it's a great idea. It still is. Whether you're part of a, the promotions team or the programming team or EBN's on-air talent and you're touching the event or you're in our newsroom or you're on KISS or WLW and you're just around the event, it's the same feeling of immense pride that we did this. We came together and made this night special and delivered it back to the region that we all love. It's always new technological changes to the fireworks. Of course, the synchronization with the music is unbelievable. But I, I, I'm a pyro guy. I love it. Bigger and louder and better. Ah, <laughs> two great guys there who give back to Cincinnati. Yeah, and speaking of some great guys, another great guy is our good friend John Gum, who is over at Yateman's Cove. John, this is absolutely perfect fireworks wow. weather. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You know, we've got great weather tonight for a huge party along the riverfront. And if you want to know some people who are all in on Cincinnati, they're right here along the Serpentine Wall tonight. They are getting ready for this show. Of course, out here we got the wall people. Do your dance, little girl. Do your dance. Yeah, I like that. You know, these families, they come down here each and every year. They get here early and they pick out the exact same spot because this is one of the very best places to see this show. You see it and you feel it out here tonight, guys. Fireworks you can feel, John. We love it. And back with us once again this year on the Kentucky side of the river is Local 12's Megan Mangello. Oh, she is right below us here at Newport on the levee. Megan, is the crowd pumped? Oh my goodness, Paula. I can tell you the Queen City is sparkling from this vantage point. A lot of people in the past half hour have grabbed their seats. They are ready for the show to begin. And when they do, they will not only see the big booms and blasts, they will hear the soundtrack from WEBN. That all in on Cincinnati theme means listen for casino music and lyrics with money in it. I am told the hits will keep coming. 27 songs in 30 minutes. Not even enough time for the smoke to clear before that next hit comes your way. We'll it back to you guys. All right, there you have yeah. it. The crowd is ready. The barge is in place. We are just about two minutes away from the frog lighting that fuse. We're going to bring it all to you live on Local 12, the exclusive home of the Western and Southern WEBN fireworks. Exclusive coverage of the 47th annual Western and Southern WEBN fireworks. Oh, we've got the crowd wars going. The people are going nuts. We're just down to seconds here. Seconds. All right. Six. Five. Five. five four, four. Three. We got to get in sync. Two. two one. Go.
made a crazy risk to gamble that's about to pay off. Well, I'll tell you what I know. It's the dumbest bet I ever heard of. I disagree. I disagree, Gary. This is how I win. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? The room was completely black. I heard her and she heard back. The sailor said, Oh, ain't that a hole in the boat? My head keeps spinning. I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. She's telling me we'll be wet. She's picked out a king size bed. I couldn't feel. Any better or I'd be sick Tell me quick Oh, ain't love a kick Tell me quick Ain't love a kick In the head The house always wins Unless when that perfect hand comes along You bet big and then you take the house. I've been practicing this speech a little bit, and I rush it felt like I was good. I liked it.
snakes attract rich flounders, and they in turn attract the sharks.
take a chance. At least that's the way I feel about it. Everybody's got to watch everybody else. Since the players are looking to beat the casino, the dealers are watching the players. The boxmen are watching the dealers. The floormen are watching the boxmen. The pit bosses are watching the floormen. The shift bosses are watching the pit bosses. The casino manager is watching the shift bosses. I'm watching the casino manager. And the eye in the sky is watching us all.
there's a gal they call the Cincinnati Fireball. One look, you fall on that Cincinnati Fireball. I bet your five are gonna get you a tear. She's gonna break my heart again. But don't you know, bo, bo, I gotta go, bo, bo, like the old bo, bo, I owe. I wish we had a camera on Paula Dan. Oh. The entirety of the show, ladies and gentlemen. You that know, is a show in itself. It, I, I was going to think I'm not going to dance as much, but I did. No, I danced mu- the night away. The music touches your soul. It does. The fireworks 
you can feel them up here. You can hear the crowd going crazy. There's just yeah. something about this day. Okay. Each and every year, it gets better and better somehow. I don't know how. The big takeaway, I'm thinking, all that green for Ooh, what? Right. Money. Money, We're money, 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 money. And the frog. Yes. Yo, it just, it was fitting. And in, the, and in the end, they carried it through so much in the beginning, middle, and then the end, they had all the green again for the finale. Oh, we're already looking together. at some of the highlights. I think the entire show uh, is a highlight. But just looking at this, I think someone last year described it as a cacophony. A cacophony. And it that's exactly every year. what we are seeing right here. I, and again, I was struck by it's happening on three different levels. Yeah. You've got to look everywhere. And then, you know, bridge to bridge as well. Oh, look at this. You've seen the, the different colors. Uh, but no, I loved each and every song. And there were so many songs that had Cincinnati-specific connections. Yeah. We're talking about the Cincinnati Fireball. And I said, oh, I'm going to start calling you the Cincinnati Fireball. Love Cincinnati. I love it. It was fun. You know, and I, it was so synchronized to the music perfectly. Perfect. we got to go for a break. We'll be back in just yes, a minute. Yes, we're going to hear from the crowd. We'll be right back. I kissed her and she kissed me Like the fella once said Ain't that a kick in the head and Southern WEBN fireworks exclusively on Local 12. Oh, that was a great song right there. Great yeah. fireworks to go along with it. Uh, John Gum had one of the best seats in the house mm -hmm. for that entire show on the Cincinnati side there at Yateman's Cove. John, you got a friend. What'd you think of the I, show? I've got multiple friends down here. Wait a minute. You're not seeing double. Ah, it's, look at these guys. Chris and Brian Hicks. Now, these beards are for cancer. All right. And uh, what'd you think of the show tonight? Uh, Rosie. Never disappoints. It was actually better than actually last year, I believe. Never. Way better, way better. I don't know how they do it, but they keep on getting better every year. Every year. Did you have a favorite part in particular? Uh, like he was saying, the Jefferson. The, the Jefferson, Star, the, the Starship Jefferson starship. Airplane, yes. Sir. And you got to be of a certain age to get that one be, right there. Be a certain age. All right, thank you very much, guys. Okay, what did you guys think of this show? How would you like it tonight? Amazing. So thankful to be here. Did you have a particular part that was your favorite tonight? Niagara Falls. Yeah, that, that, that is a crowd pleaser each and every year. All right, what did you think tonight? You, you, you mentioned the music. Yes, the music was amazing. I keep the music tonight. Did you have a favorite part? You know, they're saying it all about saying How about that? That was another, another cloud freezer. Definitely. All right, what about you? What do you think tonight? I absolutely love it. Makes me proud to be a Cincinnatian, for sure. Absolutely. You're, you're all in on Cincinnati, aren't you? Absolutely. And last but not least, come here, young lady. Was it, have you been here before at the fireworks, or is this your first time? This is your first time? Yeah. We've got a first timer tonight. What did you think of the show tonight? It was so good. Really? Was there any part that you thought this was really cool? It, it was so sparkly. Oh, the sparkly stuff. I agree. The sparkly stuff, the crowd pleaser, guys. All in all down here, folks are loving this show. Oh, I think that's the quote of the night. The sparkly stuff. Can you ever have too much sparkly stuff? <laughs> Not in my world. Not mine either, Paula. That's, this right. is why we get along. <laughs> we have many more highlights to come, and we'll be checking in with Joe Rossi floating out there on the uh -oh. river. Don't go away. Local 12's exclusive coverage of the Western and Southern WEBN fireworks. The show may be over, but we are ah. still rocking, baby. We are. You know who's really sparkling tonight? Ooh -hoo. Out in that crowd in bright yellow is our Megan Mangello. Yes, Megan, she is. what are you thinking about what you just saw? Wow. Oh, my goodness. I mean, from the barge fireworks, to me, that was the best part. You never knew which way that firework was going off the barge. I mean, that was incredible. And I feel like they used the Taylor South Great Bridge a little more this year. I mean, they were just flying off there. It was such a show. And I can tell you, over here in Newport, we had just a great view of the city of Cincinnati as the backdrop to all the fireworks happening. Everyone is filing out, trying to get home. We're going to try to get some reaction. All right, sir. What do you think of the fireworks this year? Wow, it was one of the best years in a while you know I, I took a little break from WEBN for a couple years 
and uh, finally thought I should come back and check it out. I can't lie, that was, like I said, it was one of the best years. It, it, was, it was awesome. It was favorite, awesome. Favorite part? Favorite part? The screamers and coming uh, the fireworks coming from both bridges. I thought that was amazing. Whoever thought about it, shout out to y'all. The Razzies <laughs> thought about it because they do this every year. Thank you, sir. I want to show you uh, everyone leaving here because this is a mad rush to try and get home. But the, the secret is just to stay where you're at because uh, they don't let you out. They want the crowd to kind of get in their cars, get settled, and then they'll uh, kind of open the roads and the highways back up. But Paula and Kyle, let me just tell you, that soundtrack, too, with the casino movies themed. I mean, I heard George Clooney's voice in Ocean oh, Eleven. Oh, that was kind of a movie. Okay. Did you guys hear that part, too? I didn't catch that, but I'll tell you what. Megan, I think EBN should be very, WEBN, very proud because oh, yeah. a couple of people said it. It was so synced up this year. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's synced to the Big Bangs, but it was synced to everything. It was impressive. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Megan, thank you so much. Coming up next, we are headed onto the river to chat with the master uh -huh. of disaster, the one, the only Mr. Joe Rossi, right here on Local 12, the exclusive home of the Western and Southern WEBN fireworks. Stay with us, folks. We'll be right back. Teenagers. It's your thing. Do what you want to do. I can't tell you. Ah, uh, welcome back. You just grew. Hey. Uh, do what you want to do. <laughs> All right. It is difficult to put into words what this event means to the Rossi family and to this part of the country. Yeah, Joe Rossi is once again on the barge floating out there in the middle of the Ohio River. First of all, Joe, thank you uh, to you and your entire team. You outdid yourself once again. How does it feel? I know we're just five minutes removed from the show, but how are you feeling right now? It, it feels good. It, it was a great show. Everything worked well. Uh, it, it was a beautiful week. The weather was absolutely fantastic tonight. Just enough wind. We're all very, very happy. Very happy. You should be. You know, that's interesting you mentioned the wind because sometimes we can feel the fireworks. Yeah, we'll get a little we debris. didn't get any here. debris. It just went straight down into the water. The weather worked. Everything cooperated. Except the camera on you right now. <laughs> so we're that's looking right. at more of your beautiful fireworks. What was your favorite? The end. Okay. <laughs> when it was all over. Oh. You know, we, we can't really see what it looks like. We're, we're looking straight at it. But, you know, and when I say the end, it was loud. And I wanted to do something a little bit different this year, make it a, give it a little bit more of a punch. And I think we did that. So, yeah, I was real impressed with the last uh, 15 seconds. <laughs> so. You should be very impressed with the entire show. The last 15 seconds, incredibly impressive, but the whole thing uh, was incredible. Joe, something I noticed that was different this year, I know there was a lot of new stuff, but I saw the dollar sign. I had never seen that as part of anything. I've never seen a symbol like that. Uh, talk to me about that. Yeah, it's, they're pattern shells, and, and we made these uh, a few years ago. Uh, you know, you, you can make all different kinds, but you can make any kind of pattern you want almost, but dollar signs were very befitting yeah. uh, for that piece of music and for the soundtrack. So, oh, I so, really yeah. loved it. I loved all that green. No, I, for obviously yeah. money and the frog. <laughs> yep. and, yeah, and, no, the whole thing was great. When I get a chance to watch the replay, then I'll actually be able to see the show. But. You know, we know everything worked well. Everything shot the way it was supposed to. We had some of the waterfall prematurely at night, but hey, that's this is an environment that creates a lot of uh, a lot of energy and there's a lot of fire. So that could be expected. But when it hit, it looked gorgeous. If you would not have told us that yeah. something went off prematurely, we would have had absolutely no clue. It looked perfect from our vantage point. Well, you can't have enough of a waterfall so, anyway, so that's so, okay. You were so talking I should have told you. No, no, no. no. <laughs> You, you did tell us about a little twist, and I think that was the at the end of Metallica, and you think it's going to be over, and then you go to a little Foo Fighter. Oh yeah! <laughs> right. Oh, that was that was, that nice. was a neat yeah, that, that was, was a neat ending. That that both of those pieces of music, one into another, was yeah, this is going to be really cool, and it was. I know it we was. just wrapped this year's show, but when do you start planning for next year? I don't, we start thinking about it. We talked tonight about 
what looked good, what worked well, what we want to do next year. All right. Uh, we got to cut you off because we're just about ready to close. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Joe. And not only thank you to Mr. Joe Rossi and the entire Rossi family, but thank you to the hundreds of people that it takes to make this event happen year after year. Uh, chief among them is John Barrett and the folks at Western and Southern. Without their financial support, the fireworks simply would not happen. And we want to say a big thank you to WEBN for dreaming this up and then keeping it going, particularly DJ Hodge and Katie Walters, who gets everybody organized from the sponsors to public safety to our crew at Local 12. It is a monstrous job, and she does it with a smile. Yeah, we basically take over Newport on the levee every Labor Day weekend, and the folks here, they put up with us, they help us, and they are incredibly gracious hosts. Thank you, Newport on the levee. We couldn't do it without them, and thank you also to the police and fire departments from Cincinnati, Newport, and Covington for keeping everyone safe on both sides of the river. Yeah, not to mention the U.S. Coast Guard, Department of Homeland Security, and Kentucky National Guard. To all of you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have more coverage straight ahead tonight on Local 12 News Live at 10 on Star 64 and a complete wrap-up for you on Local 12 News Live at 11. And if you missed any part of tonight's show or want to see it again, it's going to be broadcast at 1030 on Star 64, and it will also be posted at Local12.com. You can basically you can get it anywhere. Yeah. Thank you so, so much for joining us tonight. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Be safe and good night.